Marquis Series Girl is one of the oldest and most prestigious bodegas of your heart. The winery is set in the heart of Elisiago, a small town 20 kilometers from Rogrono, capital city of La Rioja. The town is featured by falling pastures of vines, fine cuisine, and stunning 16th and 17th century churches. Welcome to Marques de Riscal in La Rioja. It's the oldest winery in La Rioja. It was founded in 1858 by Guillermo Hurtado de Amezada, which is the Marques de Riscal, and it's a quite family state owned company for the moment. And I am part of the sixth generation of the family working for Marques de Riscal. And I hope you enjoy the visit. Mr. Mezaga, Marques de Riscal, diplomat, journalist, and free thinker, was one of the fathers who introduced the French winemaking techniques to the Yoha region. This great man created a winery that has always been leading and pioneering company in wine. To know the 150 year history of this renowned winery, we must start from the treasure. This Marques de Riscal winery in Rioja, uh, it was founded in 1860. It was created at a very Bordeaux style. And here we are in front of the barrel shed of, of Marques de Riscal in the ancient part of the winery. We have up to 300,000 bottles for the moment. And we, we will try to offer you a 1958 to, to taste. To speak of the cathedral is to speak of the living history of Marquis de Riscal. This cellar was built in 1858, the year the winery was founded. Here the greatest treasure of Marquis de Riscal is kept. A unique collection of all the vintage produced by the winery since its beginning over 150 years ago. There, along the long and silent corridors, these wines sleep, surrounded by mold and spider webs, the main guardians of this legacy. The spiders keep flies and other harmful insects at bay, while the mold covers the bottles, keeping them simultaneously cool and protected. Well, this is a bottle of the year 1958. Actually, we, we have printed the vintage on the cork and we try to change the cork every 25 years to, to keep the wine alive and in good condition to be drunk. So, let's taste the bottle. So, we're going to open this bottle of 1958 uh, with the most traditional method, which is using these pour tongs. This way, we, we avoid to have uh, any piece of cork inside the bottle. This operation is called disgorgement. By applying a little heat to the neck of the bottle and a little touch of cold water, with sudden contrast of temperature, the glass will break. Taste the wine now. So this 1958 vintage is one of the excellent vintages of this 20th century. It's made of Tempranillo and, and a little bit of Cabernet Sauvignon with a slight amount of uh, Graciano. And we can see in the color is very light color because it's a very old wine now. We can, we can see some brick hues around the, around the glass. And in the nose, it has a lot of intensity, a lot of complexity. It's very spicy for, for the moment, a lot of balsamic aromas. It's quite difficult to, to describe these old wines because they are full of complexity and, and, and full of flavor. In the mouth,
It's still quite young to be 58. It has a lot of freshness, it's quite easy to drink. The tannins now are very, very round. They are not, there is not, you don't feel in the mouth uh, any astringency in the, in the side of the tongue. It's very soft, very silky. So it's a, quite, a wine ready to be drunk and, and very pleasant in the mouth. And the, the, the finish is very, very long. Eh? You can feel the flavor after drinking the wine for a long period of time. Beautiful wine from an excellent vintage of Rioja. Cellars are the best museum in which to see the generation's hard work in Marquis de Rescal. With the increasing wine production, the cellars were enlarged three times in 1883, 1968, and 2000. Now, the winery sells its products in over 70 countries, and its wines enjoy the highest international distinctions, as well as numerous awards and mentions in the media. After tasting this 1958, uh, one of the most excellent wines of this 20th century, I want you to offer a part of the range of Marques de Riscal that we are actually exporting to South Asia. This is a Marques de Riscal white from the region of Rueda in the central plate of Spain and it's made of, uh, of the variety Verdejo and it's the vintage 2008. This is the Riscal Tempranillo from the region of Duero and is a vintage 2006. And this is the Marques de Riscal Rioja Reserva, is vintage 2004. About 3,750,000 bottles of white wines and 1 million bottles of red are produced by Marquis de Riscal every year. These three wines are carefully chosen out of her 11 products. Well, this is the, the white wine produced by Marques de Riscal with the local variety Verdejo in the region of Rueda. It's a, it's a white wine with a lot of tropical aromas, very intense, with a lot of flavor. It's young, fresh and fruity style, very suitable with seafood, with fish, with pasta, with rice, with salads. Very pleasant to drink during the summer, very refreshing, and a couple of glasses a day is quite healthy. The main white grape varietals used here are Vatho, Sauvignon Blanc, and Avira. Vatho is a varietal indigenous to the area. It has great versatility and personality, allowing both Isle Russell and Amontillado wines to be obtained as well as fresh white wines or oak cast matured white wines. This is the red riscal produced with the variety Tempranillo in the region of Rueda. It's 100% Tempranillo and it's been six months in American oak barrels. We try to produce our wine with a much modern style with a good balance between fruit and the flavor of, of the oak. This vanilla taste, this smoky taste is. The vineyards of Marquis de Riscal spread over three designations of origin, the Johar, the Rueda, and Castilla y Leon, with a total coverage of almost 2,000 hectares, among which about 400 hectares sell found. This is the Marques de Riscal Reserva from Rioja, which is the most famous region of Spain for the production of red wines. It's made of 90% Tempranillo and 10% Graciano and Mazuelo, and it's been 24 months in American oak, and then it's been, it spends one more year in the bottle before it's released into the market, so it's a wine that has at least four or five years and is ready to be drink at this moment.
21st century, Marquis de Riscal is still writing his history with *The City of Wine*, a project that is a milestone in the way to understand the world of wine. In my back now, you can see the new hotel that we built in the year 2000. is the main part of what we call the City of Wine project, and it was designed by the famous architect, the Canadian architect uh, Frank Gehry. And visit the hotel, the winery, and the whole city of wine. Winner of the prestigious Pritzker Architecture Prize of 1989, Frank Gehry is arguably the world's greatest living architect. His masterpieces include the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao, the World Disney Concert Hall, and the National Netherlands in Prague. It had to be something that felt.、Uh, Comfortable with the、uh, terrain, with the vineyards, with the、um, with the、um, El Tiego, the city, and and、uh, the cathedral, and it had to be festive. It had to be something exciting. It had to be、uh, because, after all, wine is about、um, uh, joy and pleasure, and so this、uh, building had to be evocative of of those kind of things. The world of wine and the world of gastronomy meet at Marquis de Riscal. With the most exclusive crockery at their fingertips, guests can enjoy the creative and the traditional Basque Johann cuisine of Francis Panigo, who, in 2004, was the first chef in the region to receive a Michelin star. Here, the historical cuisine from Yoha contrasts with avant-garde and original dishes. Here, the postmodern architectures meet with stunning sixteens. Here, you can easily feel the pulse of the link between innovative modernity and the tradition of illustrious history. Here is Marquis Iriscal.